All right, welcome to episode number four from our chapter nine series of screencasts about cellular respiration. And in this episode, we're going to cover the Krebs cycle. But once again, you're not going to get a college level or an international baccalaureate level or an AP biology level of detail because our Indiana standards just don't want us to go that deep. But there is a number of things in here that you do need to know to really help you pound out how glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain work together to produce all the ATP that we can. All right. So in the Krebs cycle, what you remember, it occurs within the matrix of the mitochondria. That's the inner part of it. It's also known as the citric acid cycle because citric acid is made uh, temporarily during the beginning of this cycle. But I do want you to pay attention to these products. All right. So number one is ATP. And then actually, you're going to get two ATP because when we split glucose during glycolysis, we got two pyruvic acid because there's always two cycles or Krebs cycles going at once. All right, so you have two of these churning next to each other producing all these products. All right, so you're going to get four NADH. Remember, these are electron carriers. And they're going to go to the electron transport chain where you're going to make even more ATP. All right. And then you're going to produce another type of electron carrier. And it's very similar in, in chemical structure to NAD called FADH2. So this is just an electron carrier. So it kind of does the same thing as NADH. All right. Also going to the ETC. Now you're also going to produce one of the waste products. Of, of cellular respiration at this step called carbon dioxide. So all the carbon dioxide that we, we breathe out when we do this, every single bit of that carbon dioxide was produced inside your mitochondria by the Krebs cycle. Now I do want you to make a note of the stuff down here in pink. The main job of the Krebs cycle is to make lots and lots of high energy electrons for the electron transport chain because this electron transport chain is going to make the bulk of the ATP from this chemical process. Okay, so let's do a quick little review. You're going to make one, two, three, four things during the Krebs cycle. You're going to make some ATP, which your body's going to use to do some of its work, but by far the most important thing you make during the Krebs cycle is more high energy electrons. Most of them are carried by NADH. Some of them are carried by FADH2, and those are going to move on to the electron transport chain to make more ATP, and you're going to make a waste product called carbon dioxide that you breathe out, and remember, that will be one of the reactants for photosynthesis. Okay, that's all the detail you're going to get on this slide, so until next time, we're going to catch you on the flip side.